Avenza Maps is a GPS app that's used primarily in outdoors activities, both recreational and professional. Once you've loaded a map, you can use it offline. Avenza's best known feature is its extensive collection of maps. The company claims to have almost a million of them. Some of these maps are free, others are for sale. Note that purchased maps can only be viewed on the Avenza app. And with some technical know-how, you can also process and use any map you find online. I'm using the basic version of the app, which is free. There are two other levels available by subscription. The main way to get maps onto your device is with the Avenza Map Store. To search, you can use keywords, which are found in the map's title or description. Or you can enter a location, which will show maps that include or are near that location. And you can filter the results, including by price. You can view the search results as a list or within the broader context of a map. And you can preview a map before you download it. To download a map, press here. It will be found here. In addition to the store, you can also import maps from other sources. Aventa supports two formats, geospatial PDFs, including Terago's GeoPDF format, and GeoTIFFs. In the U.S., some federal agencies publish maps using these formats. Note, though, that many of these maps are already found in the Avenza Map Store. You can also produce geospatial PDFs from almost any online map. The process, called georeferencing, can be done by QGIS, a free, open-source geographical information system. It involves correlating points on your map with those of a map that's already georeferenced so that the two maps align. Once the georeferenced PDF is on your device, you can bring it to a Venza here. The free version of Avenza places no limit on the number of map store maps you can use on your device, but does limit the number of maps you've imported on your own to three. In the field, Avenza is straightforward. I'm here. The map library shows which maps cover my location. On the map, I'm here. If I scroll away, I can relocate my position here. If I rotate the map, it will hold that rotation. I can return to north up here. Pressing here again orients the map to the direction I'm facing.
Tapping anywhere on the map gives a full screen. Because Avenza uses raster maps, the distance estimate is only roughly approximate. You can mark a point on the map and get the straight line distance to that point. By contrast, GPS apps that use vector maps can offer more precise navigation, including more precise distance, total ascent, total descent, and turn-by-turn -turn directions. I think Avenza's advantage lies elsewhere. Vector maps are computer generated, whereas the raster maps used by Avenza are usually created by map designers with specific audiences in mind and therefore can potentially be more useful in understanding what's around you. Of course, you can always run both apps at once. Here are a few more of events of features I find particularly useful. You can record GPX tracks from here. This will also give you the distance you've traveled. You can change the appearance of on-screen objects by tapping them and then tapping their label. These objects are stored in a map layer. And you can link that layer to other maps. In other words, a layer could display on multiple maps, and a map can display multiple layers. You can see all layers, regardless of where they are displayed, here. You can group maps in folders and collections. This folder, for example, contains maps I've imported from online sources. That way I know if and how I've exceeded my three map limit. Collections are also groups of maps but these are interlinked. If I scroll off the edge of one map, another takes its place. If I zoom into this map, a more detailed one takes its place. Some publishers on the Map Store offer map bundles, which do the same thing.